So welcome back to more CES 2024 coverage here in the Lenovo booth looking at the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i and the 5i. We're going to talk about the differences between the Pro and the non-pro version and some of the things that we're seeing upgraded this year in the models. Now, first and foremost, discovering the differences is going to be the most important thing when looking forward to making a purchasing decision. And when it comes to the Pro 5 and the 5i, let's talk about the panel first and foremost. When you're looking at the panel, you actually have both models with a 240 hertz refresh rate and a 100% sRGB. Now, the brightness is going to be 500 nits on these displays according to the OEM. Lenovo, the manufacturer, and they're both 16-inch IPS displays. Now, if you're thinking, Ben, but I want more color accuracy, well, you can move up to the 7i, not the Pro 7i, just the 7i, where you can get a 100% DCI P3 color accuracy at 165 hertz. You cannot get that 100% DCI P3 on the 5i, the Pro 5i, or the Pro 7i. That's going to be an exclusive 7i feature great for creators. They have an SD card slot. And I've done a full video on those two laptops already, but I just wanted to throw that in this video in case you're wondering how to get more color accuracy. It's going to be the 7i. Now, looking at the performance, we have up to the i9-14900HX for both laptops, up to the RTX 4070 for both laptops, and then, according to the specs, up to 32 gigs of RAM 560 megahertz DDR5 dual channel memory. Now, both the Pro 5i and the 5i come with 80 watt hour batteries. If you want to get a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, you're going to be looking at the 7 series, Pro 7i and the 7i. The biggest difference between the Pro 5i and the 5i is going to be the form factor. Weight and thickness is definitely a change between the two of them. You have 5.07 pounds for the 5i, and for the Pro 5i, we have 5.51 pounds. So it's going to be a little bit heavier. Now, also, if you can look at the chassis, you can see we have a vent on the right side panel, on the back panels, and on the left side panel. Now for the regular 5i, you can see no vents on the side panels, but we do have ventilation along the back panel. So we're going to have a little bit less of the thermal height on the 5i compared to the Pro 5i. Now I do like the connectivity though on the 5i. Left side panel, we have USB type A, two USB C's, and a headphone jack. And on the other side, we have another two USB type A's, a network adapter, a manual cutoff switch for the webcam, but also a micro SD card reader, which is awesome for expanding your storage. So if you don't want to pull off the bottom cover of the laptop, put in a new drive or swap a drive, you can easily just slide in a micro SD card and have expanded storage. Now looking at the Pro 5i, we have USB type A, headphone jack, manual cutoff switch for the webcam, along the back panel, network port, USB-C, HDMI, two USB-A, and our power adapter on the left side, USB type A and USB type C. Now looking at the bottom panel of these laptops, thinking about the build quality, you're gonna have plastic bottom covers on both the Pro 5i and the 5i. However, it's gonna be a different plastic material. On the 5i, you're gonna have a little bit more of this rough plastic material. And on the Pro 5i, you're gonna have, have that smooth plastic material that we've seen in years past. This is the first time they're introducing this rougher plastic material on the 5 series. We saw it on the Lenovo Lock last year. I just recently reviewed my unboxing that came out on the channel but I hadn't seen it on the 5 series before. So that's a new thing, kind of differentiating the 5i from the Pro 5i. One thing I really like about the 5i is they have this screwed in inlet on the back of the chassis. And it just has a really nice look to it. It's different from anything I've seen from Lenovo before. So making some updates, making some changes. Overall, when you're looking at Pro, versus non-pro, what we're finding is a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter chassis on the non-pros, and on the pros, we're finding a little bit thicker, a little bit more thermal height is gonna be there, but also they're less on-the-go friendly. So for me as a creator, I like the on-the-go friendliness of the non-pro versions, and they have plenty of performance for what I would need with the RTX 4070, 32 gigs of RAM, and up to i9 processors. So looking really great this year. I'm excited about the differences. They're much clearer than we've seen in years past, which makes the purchasing decision, in my opinion, all the easier. Definitely comment below and let me know which one you're thinking when you're watching through these different videos from CES 2024.